Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add notes to slides. Let's get started. So here's my presentation here, and notes are pretty useful because a lot of times if you're in class and you want to take notes on uh, what your teacher is presenting, you can actually do all of that within PowerPoint. You could also set up notes if you're giving a presentation so that information that you want to say but not necessarily add to your presentation uh, can be added for presenter view, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how to show your notes pane, and if you'll notice right down here on the status bar towards the bottom of the of the PowerPoint window, you're going to see a button right over here that says Notes. Okay, And if you click on Notes, it'll shrink down your slide just a little bit and the Notes pane will appear right here. If you click right here where it says Click to Add Notes, now you can start to type to add in text on each line. So I'm going to type Welcome and Introductions, and then I'll press Enter, and I'll type in Logistics, and I'll press Enter one more time, and I'll type in Establish Knowledge level. Alright, so I've typed these in and notice that the three lines that I have here, uh, it doesn't really show all of them. If I want to increase or decrease the size of the notes pane, all I have to do is go to uh, to exactly the top of the notes pane at the bottom of where your slide is and you'll notice the two vertical directional arrows. And You could actually increase it by dragging up or decrease it by dragging down. <clears throat> On this one I'm going to increase it by dragging up and now I can see all three lines are being displayed. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to slide 2 here and I'm going to show you how to insert images into this as well. So on slide 2 here, notice that the notes pane is already being displayed. You could turn off or on the notes pane by clicking on notes right here, but whatever you did on your previous slide will be the default for this slide. So on the last slide I was using the notes pane, on this one it shows up until I were to remove it. Alright, so on slide 2 I'm going to write on this one, talk about <clears throat> the main concepts. Alright, so I've typed that in. This is a little note for me while I'm giving the presentation. Alright, now let's go down to slide 3. On slide 3 right here, I'm going to enter in some more text and I'm going to put complementary energies. Oops, energies, there we go. And uh, then I'm going to switch to the notes page view. The notes page view is in the view tab and if you go to the presentation views group, right here is notes page. And this is to see how the presentation will look when printed out with notes. Each page will contain one slide with its speaker notes, which you can edit in this view as well. So I click on that, and you'll see it'll take me to slide three. I can tell because it says slide three right there. And then what I could do is, this part's pretty cool because you could actually add in images or add in smart art graphics or really anything else that you want to this page that, so that it could be printed out if you pass it out to your class or anything like that. All right, so right here I'm gonna to go to the insert tab and I'm gonna to go to the images group and I'm gonna insert a picture. And so I'll go right here to pictures and then I'm gonna choose a picture that I put on my desktop for yin yang and I click right there and I add that in. The, another thing that you can do is once you add it in, you could kind of align it using the smart guides. And so I'll just align it right there below complementary energies. All right, so there we go. I've added a yin yang image to this uh, page. And so now I'm gonna to go to slide four. I could actually go to slide four directly from this view just by scrolling down on the mouse wheel. And so now I see I'm on slide four. And on this one, I'm gonna show you how to add in a smart art graphic. And so if I go to the insert tab, illustrations group, and I go right here to smart art, I could then choose from a long list of um, smart art graphics. And so these are great for uh, adding in maybe a hierarchical uh, hierarchy. Okay, and so I'm gonna choose the uh, hierarchy list right here and I click OK and now I see that I have this list available. So this is really good if I'm passing this out at the presentation for people to see uh, maybe a, a, a hierarchy list or any of these other smart art graphics while uh, viewing my presentation. Now keep in mind the only part that will actually show during the presentation is this part right up here. This part will not show. Alright, so why add things down here if they're not going to show up during the presentation? Well, let me show you. If I go back to my normal view by going to the View tab, Presentation Views Group, and I click Normal, notice that on slide 3 where I added that yin yang image, it's not really here. Okay, And on slide 4 where I had the smart art graphic, it's not listed here either. So if it's not listed here, where does it go? Well, let me show you. If I go to the File tab and I go to Print, 
I could then choose when I'm going to print my slides. It says full page slides right here. If I were to pass this out to people, I might want to choose notes pages. And notes pages is really nice because it does show that yin yang image and all of my notes that I've written throughout this presentation. And so you can see I could pass this out and then people would have a little bit of additional information more than just what's on my presentation. Now let's say that I wasn't doing that and I just wanted to have a little bit extra to say while I'm giving a presentation. Remember nobody likes to see paragraphs on, on uh, their PowerPoint presentations but if there's something that you need to say you could always go to the slideshow tab and go to the monitors group and if you turn on presentation view or use presenter view if you start your presentation I'll just start it from the beginning hopefully this shows up uh, on the video I now see that in my presentation view I have my current slide my next slide as well as the notes that I've written and as I move forward in my presentation there's my notes and so on and so forth now make sure that one more time you understand that the images and the smart art graphics are not going to be added to this presenters view right on slide 4 which is this one we had that smart art graphic notice it does not show up there so those are only going to be useful for uh, printouts okay so that's a little bit more about adding notes to your presentations hopefully this has been helpful for you if it has please uh, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have any questions please put it in the comment section below thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day